Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kendra and I'm a physician assistant in ENT surgery and I'm also a cosmetic injector. I'm super excited because today I'm announcing my first video of a series of videos that I'm going to call the 411. Is it there? Just show up? Probably not. So this is going to be a series of videos where I explain different procedures, different cosmetic procedures, and also different diseases that I see in ENT and also in my cosmetic practice. For my first video in this series, we're gonna be talking about microneedling. Get my hands a dandy notebook. But microneedling is also called microinduction co oh no. So <laughs> that's not what it's called. Uh, microneedling is also called collagen induction therapy. Microneedling uses a microneedling pen such as this one. And uh, this is from MD Pen. It looks like this. And on this pen, you can see the different numbers on it, kind of, maybe. That's the millimeter depth that is going into your skin. So with the microneedling pen, you have a fine needle tip that goes on the top and it has 12 fine needles and this pen allows for those needles to move in and out of the skin at a very high rate. This in turn creates hundreds of micro injuries to the skin. If you can imagine, you're opening a whole bunch of channels in the skin, which naturally helps to promote the healing process and it increases your collagen and elastin formation. So I decided to have the microneedling done to myself because I think it's really important for me to experience what my client's going to experience. So I know firsthand what they may go through, any side effects, how long things last, and I think it's just really important to know from the client's perspective what they're going through and just try to think of ways to make it better for them and also ways to help them through it and tell them what to expect. Let's get into the microneedling part of the video and I'll explain to you guys the benefits and how it's done. First thing we do is apply numbing cream to the face. This is a combination of benzocaine, lidocaine, and tetracaine. As you can see, it absorbs really well into the face and it helps to reduce any discomfort felt by the needles. Next, we spray on this copper mist and then some hyaluronic acid serum and we apply it to the face and then we start our microneedling. This is my first time microneedling, so the pain isn't really too bad yet. I know a lot of people have different pain tolerance, but for me, it was more like a little stinging feeling. This is a morning right after the microneedling. I have a lot of bruising on my face, but I bruise really easily. Most people just turn red and that redness only lasts for about 24 hours. This was only about nine hours after the other video, but um, my bruising lasts only for about a little over a week and I was able to cover it with makeup the next day. So it really wasn't a problem, it didn't bother me too much. I listed the benefits of microneedling for you guys to go back and reference, but it includes tightening of loose skin, helps to reduce the appearance of acne scars and scars in general, helps to lighten and diminish hyperpigmentation, reduces the visibility of stretch marks, minimizes large pores, and it also helps to decrease fine lines.
The last thing I wanted to go over is what to expect after you have your microneedling done. As you can see from my video and my experience, I had a lot of bruising that lasted for a little bit over a week, but most people just turn red and the redness usually only lasts from 12 to 24 hours. Because this is a little bit of an invasive procedure, it's really a good idea to take the rest of the day off after you have your microneedling done. It's really important to not introduce any bacteria to your channels that are now open and it's very important also to stay away from the sun. Also, after you have this procedure done, you can't use any really harsh chemicals on your skin, so you need to wash your face with something more gentle, such as CeraVe. Um, also, you can wear makeup the next day, so if you have any redness or bruising that still persists, you can cover it really easily with some concealer and some foundation, and girl, you're good to go, or boy because guys can do it too. I like to tell my patients to take a mini vacation basically and go home and just sit and do nothing, don't cook anything, you know, just veg on the couch and watch TV. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're excited about this series like I am. If you have any topics that you want me to cover, you can comment them down below and I'll take a look and see what I can do. If you don't already, hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss any of my videos. You can also hit the like button and that would really help my channel. You can follow me on Instagram and that's it.